I freaking did it, you guys. I'm so proud of myself. Good morning, guys. Today I am facing a fear that I've had for a really long time. I am going to be donating blood today. So I wanted to donate blood all the way back <laughs> I, when I was in high school and I was just too afraid. I was, I've always been afraid of like anything related to medical stuff, doctor's offices, even making appointments, like everything related to that field I've always been so nervous about and needles, blood, it all freaks me out. I'm all about facing my fears. That's what this channel is about. I want to live my life without fear. I want to do what I want, what I think is right, and choose love over fear. That's the whole idea. So that's exactly what I'm doing today. I'm sure you guys have all heard about Hurricane Harvey and the devastating effects it's had, especially on the states of Texas and Louisiana. And Houston got it really bad. So I wanted to help in some way. Like my instinct was like, I need to fly out and I need to help people. Like, but what is that gonna do? I'm not an EMT. Like what on earth am I planning to do when I fly out there? So I was like, take a step back. Think about it, what can you actually do to help? And I did a little bit of research and I found out that other than donating money, one thing that you can do that's really, really important right now is donate blood. There's actually, because of the hurricane, an emergency need for blood right now, especially for people with O positive. Guess what type of blood I have? I felt like the universe was screaming at me. I felt like I have to do this. Time to face my fear, it's time to do it. It's not a big deal if people donate blood all the time. And throughout my life, I'm gonna need to get my blood drawn just for different things. And that's just something I'm gonna have to learn to deal with. And you know, there's an emergency need right now for O positive. I have O positive. I can't really donate money, but I can donate blood. It's something that money can't buy. It's something that I have in my veins that I can give and money can't buy it. So I guess unless you hire a hitman. <laughs> So I feel really good about it. Um, I've actually been surprisingly calm today, but I'm actually going through the steps right now of preparing to give blood. So I'm drinking a crazy amount of water. <laughs> I just ate a really big spinach salad because spinach is really high in iron and that's what I'm gonna be missing as soon as they pull the blood out of my veins. Completely unrelated to giving blood, I'm actually making cookies right now. <laughs> they look really good. We're having people over tomorrow and my birthday is coming up and I just felt like making cookies. Anyways, after my spinach salad and drinking like a crap load of water right now, um, I am actually going to have this, which is a bibimbap bowl. It's a Korean style dish and it has beef in it. Beef is really high in iron. It's also got some other stuff in here that's high in iron as well. I also ate like an entire bag of spinach yesterday and I was really hydrated yesterday. So I'm working on getting my iron levels up and getting hydrated right now. My appointment is in under two hours from now. Originally what I was going to do was walk to my local BART station, take the BART, which is the subway here, walk to the blood donation center. And then after I got my blood drawn I was just gonna like hang out for a little while until I feel felt like totally better walk back to Bart take Bart back here take a lift home but I got really lucky today I'm extremely grateful the woman whose dogs I walk pretty much every single morning lent me her car for the day I'm so grateful I have her car I'm especially grateful because today it's supposed to get up to 102 degrees Fahrenheit that is 38.8 degrees Celsius. It is going to be very hot today. So I was planning on walking in that after giving blood for like a mile and a half. I'm like, maybe not <laughs> the best idea, but it was the best I got. So I was just planning on like going slow and hanging out for a while and making, you know, monitoring myself closely. But now that I have the car, I feel like a lot more relieved. Um, I'm actually feeling surprisingly calm for this being such a huge fear of mine, but I'll keep you updated because I think as soon as I get in the car and head there, I'm gonna get those butterflies where I'm just like, oh my God, I can't, why am I doing this? I'm more excited than nervous, I guess, because it's a way I can help and I know it's gonna make me feel really, really good. Um, and actually Eric, my husband, just signed up for a last minute blood drive that's happening like in a parking lot near the office he works in. And so he just signed up to donate blood today too. So we're both donating blood. So I feel really, really good about that. So I'm gonna heat up my lunch and then I will bring you along for the day and show you as much as I can show you. We can do this. It, this is for Harvey victims. I, I don't even care if the blood goes to someone who's a Harvey victim. I just, I'm donating because of them. That's what's getting me through it. Okay. Uh, I'm definitely nervous. I feel like I'm gonna take like 10 nervous poops right now, all at once. Um, anyway, that's a little TMI. Uh, I'm bringing headphones. I'm also bringing a book. I think I'm also gonna bring my passport just in case because my driver's license is actually gonna expire in a week. I don't know if that affects anything. So in case it does, I'll bring secondary form of ID, my passport. They also might wanna see my travel stamps in here because I did go to Cambodia, but it's been 12 months, so 
It's all good, but they might ask for it. I'm not sure, so let's bring that. And let's go. You stay cool, buddy, okay? It's real hot out there. It's apparently 100 degrees out right now. Ooh, this car's hot. I just got out of the shower and I'm about to sweat. It's gonna happen. Come on, AC, come on. Come on. Although I gotta say, I'm very grateful that this car does not have leather seats and it does not have black interior. Just counting my blessings. Anyways, I need to stop talking and actually go or else I'm gonna be late. <laughs> I'm here. Huh. My heart's beating super fast. I know they're gonna measure my blood pressure high, but I need to stop thinking about it. But yeah, now I'm super nervous. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna pee my pants. <laughs> Let's do it. That was so much easier than I expected it to be. So basically the only scary parts that happened were they pricked my finger to test my iron levels and then the needle went in and it took five minutes to donate a pint of blood. And then when it came back out, it actually didn't hurt at all. So I think personally the most painful part was when the needle went in. Apparently a lot of people think the finger prick is more painful, but I didn't find that at all. I think the most anxiety inducing part was just right before they put the needle in up until like probably just a couple minutes into the blood drawing process. I was just very anxious. I could have let my anxiety completely take over. I know I could have and I didn't. I chose not to. I don't always have that choice. That's the thing. So I understand that like sometimes you, you, you're just anxious and you can't help it. But um, in the moment I was like, I could freak out right now, but I'm not. I feel like I have control. So I took control. I freaking did it, you guys. I'm so proud of myself. I faced my fear. This has been a fear of mine for so long um, and I faced it and I did it and I got my badge of honor. Um, I even got a free Red Cross t-shirt. One thing I did want to bring up, so I was looking stuff up about Hurricane Harvey online and I kept seeing all this negative media about the Red Cross and it was while I was literally sitting there eating snacks in the Red Cross like waiting center after I got my blood drawn and it made me feel so discouraged. It made my heart like just drop. It like made me feel like maybe I wasn't validated in what I did, but then I really thought about it. I'm like, people need blood right now. I have a blood type that's very common and that can be used on a lot of people. There's an emergency need for it right now. I don't really want to scrutinize the Red Cross as a company or as a nonprofit and ask where they use their funds right now because right now is an emergency time. Right now, I'm more concerned about making sure that people are getting what they need. So for me, the Red Cross is taking a portion of funds for overhead costs, which they have to in order to function, but people get to stay in shelters and people get fed and they get hygiene kits and they get the blood they need and all that kind of stuff then honestly like I'm gonna choose to look at the positive side because the I responded to an emergency need and so I I'm choosing to feel very good about what I did I don't want to downplay what I did and the fear that I faced even though it seems so tiny to so many people like it's not like I was getting a blood transfusion you know it's like such a small thing but it's such a big thing to me and that's what was important and I faced the fear and I did it to do something that I thought was right so I don't really want to like discuss anything about the Red Cross in the comments below I want to discuss overcoming fear that's what this video is about it's about overcoming fear to do something that you feel passionately about which is exactly what I did today I did get to like poke the bag of blood that I donated which kind of freaked me out a little bit but not nearly as much as the needle it's less of the blood and more of the needle <laughs> But yeah, I was like, oh, I'll poke it. Sure, why not? It was kind of a weird experience. Like my brain didn't connect that that came from me, you know? It's crazy. But yeah, everyone in there was super nice and I had overall really positive experience. So here's to overcoming fears, you guys. We're gonna live this life to the fullest. We are the Fearless Fam. If you wanna join the Fearless Fam community, I have a link to that down below. And if you have any questions for me about how everything went or something I didn't talk about, then definitely let me know. Let's keep it positive, let's keep it encouraging. And if there's a fear that you need to face soon or you want to face soon, comment down below or post it on the Fearless Fam Facebook group um, so that we can help encourage you because you got this, you got this. Okay, bye.